What's up YouTube? I have another lead code SQL problem for you. This one's marked as easy. I think it should be a medium and it's part of SQL 50. So let's get into it. This one's called the number of employees which report to each employee and it's numbered 1731. As I said, it's easy. It's part of SQL 50's advanced select and join section, but most people are saying it should be medium. Me included. You sort of have to make sense of all of this employee to employee logic. So let's get into it together. We have one table called employees, which has the employee ID, name, reports to and age. And for this problem, we will consider a manager and employee who has at least one other employee reporting to them. We should write a solution to report the IDs and the names of all managers, the number of employees who report directly to them and the average age of the reports rounded to the nearest integer should return the result table ordered by employee ID. And here are some examples. So we have employee ID, which is just an integer. We have the name of the employee. Reports to refers to which other employee ID they report to. So yeah, here's an example. Employee ID six, Alice reports to employee ID nine, which is Hersey and there's also the age of each ex employee. Some people have null as a value in the reports to column, which means they don't report to anyone. That doesn't necessarily mean they're a manager. So for this example data, Winston doesn't report to anyone, but there's no one reporting to them either. So they don't have a manager, but they are also not a manager themselves. So. Yeah, just an individual employee. So for this example data, the only employee that is a manager is Hersey because there are two people reporting to them because there's two people who have Hersey's employee ID in their reports to column listed as a value there, listed as manager. And then we have an average age of the employees who are managed by Hersey, which is the average of 41 and 36 rounded to the nearest integer. The actual average would be 38.5, but rounding that to the nearest integer makes it 39. Apparently they're rounding up here. Yeah, so I think that's good for the example data. We have another example here, but it will just go through more data, basically calculating the same thing with more data. So. Looking at this problem, we only have one table, but we want to take a look at this relationship of who reports to whom. And yeah, we sort of did that lookup of Alice having employee ID nine as who they're reporting to and Bob also having nine as who they're reporting to. And then we sort of did that lookup, well, who's employee nine? Employee nine is Hersey they're reporting to no one and their age is 43. So since we need to do that lookup and that data is in separate rows, we have to use a self join here. So this question very much points at using a self join. You could use a slightly different version using subqueries, but you're still selecting from that table employee at least twice. You need to use at least two versions of it since yeah, we want to combine that information, which lives in separate rows. So yeah, that's pretty much the only way to go here. In this case, we need to link the reports to column with the employee ID column, and then do a count of how many employees are reporting to a manager and what the average age of them is also rounding that. And then I think there's some ordering involved, ordering by employee ID. So that's pretty much what we need to do in terms of the setup we're using for self join. It's usually just yeah, selecting from this table and then giving it an alias, sort of a nickname. You could use A and B, so employees A join employees B. And then you would have that sort of condition written up here. So A dot column equals b dot column. Yeah, this is really where we have to make sense of the logic and 
implement what we sort of just did by looking at the example data. So this will be very important, so let's make sure we get it right. In this case, we're looking at the reports to column matching the employee ID column. So here we looked at reports to equaling employee ID. So it would be a report to or reports to matching employee ID. So now we just make need to make sure we understand what A and B refers to here and you, we're using the right version when selecting our output columns. Speaking of output columns, we want to have employee ID, name, reports to, which is that count of reports, or yeah, it's actually called reports count. We want to have the average age of those reports and that's it. So in terms of employee ID, this should be the employee of the manager. In this case, for the example data, we would want it to be nine. And yeah, for the name, the same. So to sort of do that lookup, let's go through the data. We have A dot reports to equaling B dot employee ID. So for this data, the matching would be A dot reports to reports to would be nine. That's the only column, uh, the only value we can do matching on. We can't match null with anything. So A dot reports to would be one of those rows. Those would be the ones going into the join from the A table, which is like one version of the employees table. Then the B table would have the employee ID nine. That would be the match we can do there because that's the only match we have in this example data. So the only matching we can do is for employee ID nine because that's the only manager in this data where the reports to value equals the employee ID value for some rows. So since we're interested in employee ID nine, that needs to be B dot employee ID. Okay. Yes, because employee ID nine would have null as a reports to value. Hersey doesn't have anyone to report to, can report to themselves. So we would be interested in B dot employee ID as the output because that would be, yeah, this value. And then also the same for the name. So B is the version of employees that has the managers and A is the version of employees that has the employees simply based on the join condition. So if you wanted to be very clear here, you could rename A to employee and B to manager to make, make it more clear. So A is employee, B is manager. Yeah, so that might make it easier going forward. Now we get to we need to get the amount of reports. So that should be a count of distinct employee IDs from A because yeah, we just call it employee. So employee.employee ID. And yeah, since that was A, that would be those columns that had nine in the reports to column. And yeah, that should do that as reports count. And then we need to take the average age of the employees to get the average age column. We also need to do the rounding here. So just gonna wrap that in a round function. If we wanted to have like decimal points here, so around to do to two decimal place, for example, we would do comma two here. But in this case, we're trying to round to full integers. So that should be it. 
So what we did here was we made sure we're selecting the manager's employee ID and the manager's name and then counting up the reports they have. We're using distinct here just to allow for duplicates to be in the data. But from the example data, it would also work without that. We need to use a count here to just yeah, count up the different employee IDs that are in there. And for the average, yeah, this would sort of rely on not having duplicates there. We're just taking an average calculation and wrapping it with a round function. So this should work if we just make sure we have a group by clause here that says we want to do this for each employee ID and each manager name. So for each manager's ID and name, we want to calculate that count and that average. And yeah, one, two just refers to the first two columns here. Only other thing left is ordering by employee ID of the manager, because that should be what our output is ordered by. And that should do the trick. So I'm running that, but I'm telling you that this is a more complicated problem than an easy question. So if you go into this one, think it's easy, are having trouble solving it, then that's totally normal. I got confused as well in terms of which side would be the employee and the manager. I think it's pretty clear that you need to join based on the reports to an employee ID column. If you don't realize that this is a self-joint question, then that makes it much harder as well, or you sort of wouldn't get to the solution that easily. But you should really be able to notice when a question is a self-joint. So often you have to just have one table and then you sort of need to link different columns in there and the data is in separate rows as well. Yeah, so that should do the trick here. That is the accepted solution. Again, this one is a bit tricky. I had trouble keeping up with both sides of the relationship just because, yeah, both the manager and the employee are employees themselves. So they sort of um, share the same sort of information in columns. So yeah, this one might require a bit more time, but if you can solve this, you're really set up to be able to, do, uh, to solve a lot of self joint questions. So this one is a good one to include in SQL 50. I'll go through all the other questions in SQL 50 as well, or have done so already. If you're late to watching this video, I have a playlist having all the video solutions in there. So check this one out and I'll see you in another video. Until next time. Bye-bye.